is an Eyewitness News webcast. Hi, I'm Brianna Strunk. Here's your Eyewitness News webcast on this Sunday and Veterans Day. But first, let's get a check on the forecast with meteorologist Kevin Dirk. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Brianna. Not too bad today. We're going to be looking at a mix of sun and clouds if you have any ceremonies you're going to for Veterans Day. 42 will be the high. It's going to be a bit chilly, but not as cold as it was yesterday because those winds won't be nearly as strong. Overnight tonight, it's going to get cold. Scattered clouds, 24 for a low. Now, tomorrow and for the rest of the week, we're going to be looking at increasing clouds. It's going to get up into the mid 40s for Monday, but with the increasing clouds, that means there's going to be some rain coming in Monday night into Tuesday, and some of that could be mixed with some snow. So it's going to be kind of a sloppy day on Tuesday, 42. Wednesday, just a slight chance of a snow shower in the morning. Otherwise, we're looking at partly sunny skies. It's going to be cold. 34 degrees for a high. Another system making its way towards us on Thursday. 38 for a high with a mix coming in. And that mix could spill over into Friday before it finally clears out Friday afternoon. High of 40 on Friday. And then Saturday, we're looking at snow showers just about the entire day, Brianna, because of the lake effect. And it's going to be chilly. Temperatures only near 40 degrees. Winter weather is moving in. Yes, it is. Thank you. All right. This performance by the Wyoming Valley Barbershop Chorus was part of an early tribute to hundreds of Wilkes-Barre veterans who served in World War I. The ceremony at East End Towers centered around the rededication of a bronze plaque. It bears the names of 320 brave men and women from Wilkes-Barre's East End who served their country a century ago. Another Veterans Day weekend service drew a patriotic crowd to Scranton's Nayog Park. A plaque rededication ceremony was held to honor the more than 200 troops from Lackawanna County who died in World War I. The plaque is encased in a large stone. The 9-11 Memorial Committee, along with Lackawanna County and the city of Scranton, teamed up for the tribute. A local Army veteran is recovering this morning after an exhausting day yesterday. Sean McMillan of Williamsport decided to challenge himself by running for 24 hours on a treadmill at Planet Fitness. After serving three combat tours in Afghanistan and dealing with PTSD, he is raising awareness for veterans suffering with mental health issues and substance abuse. At least 40 community members came out to run by McMillan's side. Susquehanna University's football stadium has a new name. The facility where the River Harks play is now named Doug Arthur Stadium. It bears the name of the late 1949 Susquehanna accounting grad who played football all four years while at the university. A World War II veteran, Arthur later became a well-known philanthropist with his wife, Lucille. The university acknowledged a $10 million gift from Arthur's widow by naming the stadium in his honor. It is beginning to look a lot like Christmas in parts of Lackawanna County. St. John's Russian Orthodox Cathedral is in the middle of its annual Christmas Bazaar, which serves as a fundraiser. Crafters and vendors are on hand selling all sorts of items to help you fill out your holiday wish lists. Shoppers can find something that looks traditional or creatively unusual. That does it for this Eyewitness News webcast. Have a good day.